Hi guys, today our topic of discussion is financial instrument. So, how do we know whether the instrument fall within our IFRS 9 financial instrument? Now, basically, there are three possibilities. Now, the very first one is any contract. Now, any contract that gives rise to financial assets of one entity and financial liability or equity instrument of another. So it's a financial instrument. So any contract that gives rise to financial assets of one entity and financial liability or equity instrument of another. So that means to one entity, it's a financial assets. To another, it's a financial liability or equity instrument. So this is the first possibility of a financial instrument. Now, meanwhile, the second possibility, a contract, a contract to purchase a non-financial item. Now, a contract to purchase a non-financial item is also a financial instrument if the contract is to be settled net. Now, when I say net settlement, basically it means that the entity do not take no physical delivery. So the entity do not take physical delivery of the non-financial item. So a contract to buy a non-financial item to be settled net, that means there is no physical delivery of the non-financial item, is also part of a financial instrument. So a good example is hedging. Now, when we talk about a contract to purchase a non-financial item to be settled net, this contract is also known as a derivative. Now, a derivative is an instrument that will exhibit three characteristics. Number one, there is no initial payment. Number two, it will be paid or settled in future. And the third one, the value of a derivative will change when the value of underlying item changes. So the value of a derivative will change when the value of the underlying item changes. So this gives us the three possibility of a financial instrument. So you have to be careful in the event you have any one of them then you should remember the possibility of applying IFRS 9. That's it for this video.